Palestinian Authority Prime Minister Mohammed Shatayeh and his government handed in their resignations Monday morning. Many are left wondering what happens now. First, how we got here. The move comes after increasing pressure from the United States and Middle Eastern leaders for the Palestinian Authority to reform its governance. There's international pressure for the PA to oversee Gaza and the West Bank, a region which has seen a surge in violence since the start of the Israel-Hamas war. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with PA President Mahmoud Abbas back on February 7th to discuss reforming the Palestinian Authority with the future goal that the group would be able to govern the Palestinian territories when the war ends. It's a goal that Israeli leadership does not agree with. As Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said, Israel would not accept Palestinian Authority rule over the territories. He's also flat out rejected a two-state solution. Shatayeh said he and the government were stepping down to allow Palestinians to decide their own political arrangements when the war ends. He said the next administration will have to consider the reality emerging in Gaza, as Israeli bombardment in the enclave has killed more than 30,000 people and left more than a million others homeless. Right now, there are reports estimating that 1.5 million Palestinians are living in homeless encampments in Rafah. They're short on medical supplies, food and water, according to the Palestinian Health Authority. This decision comes based on the political, security and economic developments that are related to the offensive on our people in Gaza and the unprecedented escalation in the West Bank and Jerusalem and to what our people and the Palestinian cause are facing as well as our political system that has been aggressively attacked in an unprecedented manner and based on the genocide, forced displacement and the starving of people in Gaza. President Abbas accepted Shatayeh's resignation and made him a caretaker for the role while he seeks to find a replacement. Arab and Western governments have also discussed President Abbas stepping down. Many Palestinians consider him and his administration to be corrupt and undemocratic, according to a poll conducted at the end of 2023. As far as a timeline for replacing these officials, that's unclear. There's been no new talks of holding new elections for Gaza or the West Bank. The last Gaza election was held back in 2006 when Hamas won and took control of the enclave. There hasn't been another election since. Fatah, the political party of the Palestinian Authority, and Hamas have repeatedly attempted to reach a unity agreement with each other over the years and have been unsuccessful. Now the leaders of the groups are set to meet in Moscow on Wednesday. President Abbas is expected to appoint Mohammed Mustafa, who's currently the chairman of the Palestine Investment Fund, as the next prime minister, according to the Times of Israel.